taking a picture. I forgot this. <laughs> okay. Let me turn this up. You ready? Well, start talking. I'm so. here with a 2013. <laughs> I can't do it. I was going to try to be lame, but well, I am here. You ready? Well, we weren't the best car, but we <laughs> outqualified him all year, so it was good enough. Yeah. I'm here with the 2013 World of Vault Law champion. Congratulations, Darren Pittman. You led from the start, led till the end. Congratulations to you and your great clips, number nine team. Yeah, just congrats to the whole team because that's, uh, that's what it is. It's a team effort, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> that last race was pretty uh, – it was not pretty, that's for sure. That's every, It was everything but what we were hoping it was going to be, but luckily it turned out okay. Uh, car was good. I just, man, I tell you what, I've been a mess the last couple of weeks and, and thinking about this and, and just having way too much time to think about it. And at the end of the day, I just had to settle down and, and trust my car that uh, Kale gave me that uh, it was good enough, and, and we got a lot of our spots back that uh, I gave up there at the beginning of the race. So uh, to lead from the first, first race to the last race is uh, – just a dream come true to lead it all, you know, and to come out here and compete and, and challenge for a World of Outlaw Championship is something that, you know, you dream about since you're a kid. So hats off to Kale and Colton, Michael. They do a, a great job, and they're the ones that uh, make all this uh, a reality because you're only as good as the people around you. There's a lot of teams out here that have a lot of money and have really good equipment, but uh, we came out on top of all of them, and, and uh, I'm just a small part of that. So uh, congrats to Casey. Thanks to Great Clips and uh, uh, Curb Records, uh, Sage Fruit, all the sponsors on, on board with this team. It, uh, it, it doesn't happen without them, and uh, it's, it's just fun to be part of. Having not ran a World of Outlaw Tour since 2008, to come off that stretch of downtime and go out and win a championship, win numerous races, have many, many, many quick times. How does that feel as a driver? How did you prepare for that when you were racing and other tracks around the U.S.? Well, I was preparing for it the last four years that I was off the road to, you know, to come back and, and be on the road because that's where I knew I wanted to be and, and, and what my eventual goal was. So I was ready to do it, and, and nothing's changed a lot over the last four years. There's still a lot of the race tracks. There's only probably a couple, one or two that I'd never been to. Uh, so I just had, it was just a situation where I hadn't gotten with uh, – the right team and it's, it's all about chemistry and uh, all about coming in and being able to work with and all working towards the same goal we didn't have two bad nights i don't think all year to be honest with you we uh, we had have one bad night and come right back and bounce back and and that's uh uh you know a huge tribute to just all, all the attitudes and uh, their work ethic and everything they put into it at the beginning of the year did you and your team sit down and have a goal to win a championship or did you think that was maybe out of reach just being your first year back uh no we had a conversation on the way to florida <laughs> Hold on. We got some hat adjusting going on here. <laughs> uh, we had a conversation on the way to Florida uh, on what our goals were for the year, and we accomplished every one of them except uh, a top three at the Nationals, and we didn't win ten races. Uh, that was uh, we, Our first goal was to leave Florida with the Gator, and we did that. Uh, one of my goals is to win ten races. I, I told him if I felt like we could win ten races, we would contend for a championship, and luckily eight was enough to uh, uh, get us there. But we accomplished all of them uh, except those two, and I, I thought at the time they were pretty lofty, I'll be honest with you. I thought they may take a few years to get there, but uh, you just never should underestimate the, the, these guys and, and uh, how good and how hard that they worked and, and such a great team that Casey's put together. Well, congratulations to you, your family, your whole team, and everybody on your 2013 World of Outlaws Championship. All right, thank you. I'm Natalie Sather here with tonight's A main feature winner, Paul McMahon. Final night of the racing season, world finals, huge race to win. You got second one year ago, one tonight. How are you feeling? I tell you what, I feel great. Uh, you know, just to have my wife here finally, and why I win a race is is is, is very special to me. Uh, you know, but uh, to win the world finals is is just amazing. Last year, you know, we we ran from 22nd to second and came came up a little short and. Uh, this year we, we finally got the win. Uh, we, we've been good. For some reason, we've been really good here at Charlotte. Don't understand why, but we've been very good, and I uh, really enjoy coming here. And 
Um, I'm telling you what, this is going to make the winter a lot easier. You signed with CJP Motorsports one year ago. Take us through a brief history of this year and everything that's happened. Uh, I tell you what, this year is, is it's it's pretty neat what happened. I mean, when we started out the season, we weren't planning on running the World of Outlaws, and um, to come out and, and win four races and, and end up third in points uh, for a team that wasn't even prepared to run the World of Outlaws is, is pretty special. Uh, really looking forward to next year. I uh, congratulate Darren Pittman and Casey Kane racing on their championship this year. Uh, they had a phenomenal year, but uh, really looking forward to next year. Well, congratulations, Paul, to you and your team. Thank you very much. I'm here with tonight's second place finisher, Jason Sides. Well, Jason, you led 26 of the 30 laps. You're running the bottom very consistent. Paul McMahon just got by you at the top. Did you know he was coming? Yeah, I mean, it was one of those things where when we got to some lap cars, uh, you know, you had to, <clears throat> excuse me, had to, had to choose a line, but I thought he was pretty good on the bottom there, so I kept trying the bottom, and, and you know, I knew that he was coming uh, or somebody, anybody there on the top, so. Uh, the once or twice that I tried it, it wasn't very good. And uh, just uh, running behind a couple lap cars and kind of got squeezed off, and he got by on the top, and there really wasn't no recovery after that. You got to the lead right away and ran the bottom throughout the whole race. When you encountered lap traffic, did you debate whether or not to go to the top, or were you comfortable on the bottom? No, I mean, we, we were really good on the bottom, and that's just where I plan on staying. I mean, we ran the top of, you know, some of the heat race and the dash and stuff. But uh, for me, the car was so much better around the bottom, and it's the shortest distance. I mean, it's just always I, my, I prefer the bottom. So, I mean, it's just one of those things where, you know, you make them pass you on the outside and, and go, you know, hope for the best. Well, tying your best finish here again, second. Congratulations, Jason Sides. I'm here with tonight's Thanks, third place finisher, Donnie Schatz. Started sixth, worked your way up to third. Did you think you had anything for first and second towards the end of the race? Uh, we just seemed to be a little closer when we caught lap traffic there. You know, we kept having restarts. Um, and, and without lap traffic, we, you know, everybody was about the same speed. That's how Polly snookered Jay. You know, Jay got a little slowed up with uh, with the six car. And um, we just needed to be in a little better spot. We, we uh, weren't operating real well. Uh, I was uh, driving as hard as I could. Just, uh, I, I think we were about the same speed. I just couldn't really catch them when I needed to. So uh, it's the way it goes sometimes. You won last night. The track was a lot different tonight. As a driver, how hard is that to adjust from night to night, being on the same racing surface? Um, I don't know that it's. You're, we're, they expect us to adjust. That's what we have to do to adjust to the different surfaces. But the thing that is hard to adjust is is the half a lap we get to qualify or you know, the hot lap. You know, um, they got the tires halfway out on the racetrack. It's like, well, what's the, what's the goal here? Are we trying to keep the slime down there or just make one groove? And then all of a sudden they they push them clear in the infield and it's still slop down there. So it's kind of a uh, you know, it's what kind of racetrack do they want? I don't know. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to expect what to do and, and understand what, what we need to do tire wise. So um, really come apart quite, uh, you know, I guess you could call it quite good because there was a little bit of holes in three and four and um, guys were catching it and bouncing around, but it was throwing some chunks around. So it uh, it broke apart a little bit. And, um, you know, we tried to make the best of it. And third's the best we could do tonight. Last race of the year, second in points. How proud of you are you and your team? Well, I'm not proud to say that we're second, but we were not outraced. Uh, we were not outperformed. We were outqualified. That's what it boils down to. So, um, you know, that's what that's what won them guys the championship. There's no question about it. Uh, I, I can't remember him passing me more than twice, and once was tonight. So, <laughs> you know, that's the way it goes. Um, you know, they they uh, stayed consistent and smart. And um, we're, we're going for we're going for wins. I mean, that's uh, that's why I want to be here. I want to win races. Uh, I like trophies. I like the checks. At the end of the day, uh, I'm pretty sure we want a lot more money. So uh, that that always makes a guy feel better. Is that something you and your team might strategize for next year? Qualifying efforts? We're not strategizing for anything. We're gonna we're gonna come to the races the same way and try to race as hard as we do um, every night the same way. Uh, we're not gonna put a lot of emphasis on qualifying and uh, just do the best we can. I mean, we don't try to qualify bad. We try to qualify good. But uh, you know, a guy could spend a lot of money trying to qualify quick every night, and there's no question that it, that it could help. But um, that's just not something that we work hard on. So um, we're not gonna change now. Well, congratulations, Johnny Schatz and his team. Uh, third tonight, second in the championship.